Ubuntu 17.10 Artful Aardvark is the latest release of the hugely popular Ubuntu Linux distribution. Six months of frenzied development have delivered what is one of the most dramatic updates in Ubuntu's recent history. So naturally we couldn't resist grabbing a copy, sticking it on the nearest available USB and exploring the changes at hand. The first thing you'll notice is that the Unity desktop is gone in its place It's a custom version of the latest GNOME Shell desktop. Broadly speaking, this looks and acts a lot like Unity. The horizontal bar running across the top of the screen houses compact application menus. A combined clock, calendar and message tray applet helps keep you organised. And there's a unified status menu for managing your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and session. On the left of the screen, in place of the Unity launcher, you'll find the brand new Ubuntu dock. This works exactly as you'd expect. You can manage your open and running application windows, as well as quickly launch applications that you've pinned to the dock. Some applications, including Thunderbird and Firefox, can display on-dock progress counters and unread counts. Ubuntu 17.10 retains its dark ambience theme, but there are some visual niceties on offer, including new window animations and dynamic transparency when moving windows near the dock or top bar. Ubuntu devs have moved window controls from the left to the right. And after years of carrying patches to disable them, I'm pleased to say that Ubuntu is finally adopting client-side decorations by default. One of my favourite features in the GNOME desktop is the full screen app launcher. This gives you an immersive way to browse through all the apps you have installed on your system alphabetically, while the frequent tab gives you handy access to the apps you use the most often. And you can of course search for apps by name using the keyboard. A gentle tap of your super key will take you to the activities overlay. From here you can manage all your running applications and windows, as well as make use of dynamic workspaces. Along with the HUD and global menus, the Ubuntu sound menu is no more, but you can still control music playback on your desktop using the new sound controller in the message tray. It works with a chorus of apps including Rhythmbox, Spotify and Clementine. No update to Ubuntu would be worth its salt if it didn't include the latest versions of core apps like Firefox, LibreOffice and Shotwell. And if you're a fan of the default music player Rhythmbox, I'm sure you'll appreciate its streamlined new look. The next-gen Wayland display server is used by default in Ubuntu 17.10 and in general usage I can't say I noticed that much of a difference between it and the older X server. But if you're a gamer, use NVIDIA hardware or rely on some remote screen sharing tools, you may encounter some issues or be unable to use Wayland at all. The good news is that Wayland is entirely optional and that the X server is still included as a fallback. A few other features worth a mention include the redesigned settings app, the new built-in blue light filter night light, and more baby steps towards improved HIDPI display support. In summary, Ubuntu 17.10 is one huge update. The transition from Unity to GNOME Shell feels frictionless and some great new features have been added as a result. Ahead of next year's long-term support release, Ubuntu 17.10 offers more than enough to be well worth upgrading to.